Get it, Frederick. Get it. Hey there, Opevians. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. It's Lauren here. Welcome back for more Opeth. So we're doing a random video today. I googled acoustic Opeth because I remembered that um, the Record Store Day video for Demon of the Fall. So this is like taken from a Watershed DVD, which I didn't know existed, but since that's my favorite Opeth album, I thought, let's try this. Especially since we gave some uh, extra love to Martin Mendez. I figured I would uh, extend the favor for the guitars. Get it, Frederick. Get it. You know, I'm not a technical guy. I don't... I'm not interested and I don't want to be interested. I just want to get to the writing level as fast as possible and without any problems. If there is a problem with my technical device, I break them, I smash them. I don't have any... Uh, uh, patience. No, no patience. I just... Uh, I need it to work instantly and if it fucks up, it, it's a good chance I might break it. Regardless of what it costs. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm sorry to say, it's not a good, good thing. But uh, yeah. So this is where uh, the magic comes. It was like a mirror image for a second. Not a mirror image, you know what I mean. That's very cool. That's a fun riff. That's a fun riff. Uh, but it's everything from, uh, you know, try to cover as much, much ground as possible with uh, the music. It's a lot of major chords on this album for some reason. Um, <laughs> I think they sound evil. It's, uh, you know, when I hear that, I'm not thinking just regular, you know. It's the, an evilness. You put it in context, like... <laughs> it's all major chords, but it doesn't sound like a... It sounds more evil than... <laughs> Probably I think it's more um, like an Ar Arabic uh, yeah, yeah, sort of... Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I get up, a song on the album which is uh, just an acoustic guitar on. Um, pretty simple. I think I was... Uh, didn't really know where to use it, but uh, it came to good use, actually. The only kind of secure spot for that type of song was first on the album, I think. And most metal bands, including ourselves, most when you put out a new record, you're like, yeah, it's straight in your, your fist in your face with the first song, you know. It sounds low, it's like a Zeppelin, a mid-period Zeppelin riff in a way. And then it turns into a Nick Drakeish kind of thing. Very simple. She's uh, uh, Martin Axe, our drummer's girlfriend. They've been together for five years or something like that. And... Um, you guys told me that. She's a singer and usually could sing 
well, but I didn't, I didn't really know just how good she was until I had like a crayfish party, I think it was, or maybe New Year's, I can't remember. I had a party at, at, at our house. As you the, do. They brought a tape of a, like a project they have together, Martin and his oh, sorry, sorry. Natalie is her name. And uh, I heard this song and I was like, wow, she, she's got a beautiful voice. Very basic in many ways. Pick and strings yeah. and choppy fingers. <laughs> <laughs> they make it sound so easy. I was happy with that mic. It was and look easy. The end of this uh, ballad song that we wrote. Uh, has uh, just a long going riff, and Freddie can play it so well. But the riff is simple, I just show it. It's just. It's perfect for soloing, so. Uh, yeah, it's go. just basically have to hit one note and then you're okay, I think. Yeah, but it has to be the right note. That's not the easiest thing. They swapped! My solos, you know. Otherwise, something like that, but it plays shitty. But uh, I don't try to play mine one more time. Because I Fucked it up again! forward to a tour. Uh, I've never uh, heard tour, this. Tour uh, with the new that. songs, of course. That's the. Uh, it's gonna be very different for me. Uh, for me right now, just learning all these songs and rehearsing with the band, basically. It's definitely a little bit different than Ghost Reveries, but. It's supposed to be that because it's not fun. Hair it's flipping insane. extraordinaire right Very there. Very few bands that can make the same albums over and over again. I'm old. <laughs> I don't know. I start getting bored, whatever. But no reason. Just woke, woke up someday and was like, you know, I just want to change something, shave my hair, why not? I'm hoping it's going to continue the same interest that's shown shown for us in the past. That that's going to be maintained with this new album that uh, we're still going to be able to have a good time even though it's basically a new band. So why did you say that? Is this the first one with Martin, uh, Axe Martin? Why would you say it's a new band? I need an acoustic. I can blame it on the sound. Interesting. Yeah, tell me why he would say that, because um, there was still Demon in Watershed. 
There's a demon in the watershed. So I don't know. I could imagine him saying that like the first album without demon on it. I do just want to add that I don't dislike the guitar. I just um, prefer the bass guitar. That's all. I just think bass guitar sounds so much cooler than a guitar. I think if bass solos were featured as often as guitar solos were, I would probably, perhaps, maybe switch my opinion. And I would feel that way about the guitar because it's so rare to hear it featured. You know what I mean? Are you following what I'm saying? I'm not going to go on a bass rant right now. I've done enough of those. Shout out to the fellas of Opeth. Killing it as always. And uh, shout out to the Opethians. Thank you for watching. More Opeth on the way. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you for the next one.